CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz, where is the lens fragment hiding? Can you figure out where this piece is hiding? Watch carefully. And let's get through the beginning of the case sped up so you see it's a normal case. There you go. We got some good visqueloids going in. The incision's good. The rex will be good. You know what's not so great, though? That draping. What am I thinking here? Look at those eyelashes poking out. So, all right, not the best draping. I will give you that. You are correct. All right, let's continue, though. Getting the good rexes done here, that looks pretty reasonable. Again, this is shown at three times normal speed, just so you can see the entire case. It's a totally routine case, nothing unusual. All right, flip the nucleus up a little bit, not too dense, relatively soft, actually. Let's put the phago probe in here. Let's slow it down. One and a half speed now. Watch carefully and see where does that fragment go, that little fragment. You saw in the title slide, you know we're going to end up with a little lens fragment coming out from somewhere, but can you figure out where it goes? Where does this piece hiding? So taking out this nucleus, again, it's a relatively soft nucleus. I've kind of chopped it in half here. This is not a super elegant case here. It's not a cherry pick case. It's a routine case. So we're finally getting the pieces out nice and easy. And emulsifying those, again, soft lens. So we don't want to put too much energy in the eye. We don't want to buzz through the pieces. Now we just have an epinuclear shell that's remaining. Let's get that taken down nice and easy. So just barely vacuum. I want to be careful. I don't want to go through the piece with the vacuum. There it is. Epinuclear shells coming up. And we got a good flow here. 40 cc's a minute. Now watch. Is that the piece hiding there in the sub-incisional space? No, I got it out. All right. So maybe you think it's during the cortex removal. So, so far it looks pretty good. I don't, maybe one little piece that the pairs and desis, although I don't see any nuclear fragments. Let's put the eye probe in the eye. Let's aspirate down all the cortex. That'll give us a much better view. I've emphasized that red reflex here in post-production to really make it bright so you can really see. I don't want any excuses why you couldn't find that last piece. So, all looks pretty good, right? A little viscoelastic there. Okay, let's polish up the undersurface of the lens capsule. Again, we got a flow here of at least 40 cc's a minute. So we're flowing a lot of fluid through the eye here. That's really no issue at all. I don't see any pieces, do you? I mean, look carefully. Do you see a piece? Mm, not really. It's all right, viscoelastic going in. Let's fill up the capsule bag here. Yeah, we'll polish up the capsule more. Hang in there, buddy. Here comes the lens. Single piece of acrylic lens, gonna put it right in the capsule bag. There it goes, nice and easy. Deliver that in. And let's get that thing to unfold in there. And all right, there's a little tiny piece. I see something near the lens or within the optic. Okay, we'll get that out. And so, okay, lens is centered up. I think it's a reasonable looking Rexus. IA Pro going inside, remove the viscoelastic. Now here, the flow is 60 cc's a minute. So you know we're pushing a lot of fluid through this eye here. 60 cc's a minute, evacuating out all that viscoelastic, getting that lens centered. I like that overlap of the of the rexus on top of the optic. I just don't see any lens pieces, do you? I mean, we're putting a lot of fluid through the eye here. It's good dilation. It's not hiding under the iris. Seal up the incision. Watch carefully. And I think a pretty good little viscoelastic in the eye. All right, let's do a little angle sweep here for viscoelastic. Yes, I know the eyelashes are also irritating me. I, I, I know. Thanks for pointing that out. All right, so I'm pretty good, right? Let's put a triumcin on the eye. We'll put in some BSS, swirl it around. Let's get some moxie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was going to put some moxie flux in, but I saw that big piece. You see that piece? There it is. Wait a minute. All right, let's take it out. Now you got the piece out, right? Agree. Are we in agreement here? Piece out of the eye. All right, cool. Let's seal up the incision. Don't, don't go yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now let's put in some more. A little more triumcin alone. Swirl that around. Let's get some moxifloxin inside that eye. Here's a little moxifloxacin. Watch carefully. Looks pretty good. I'll take it, right? Uh, what's this right here? Hey, surprise, another piece. Wow, two retained lens fragments. You just never know. Remember, retained lens fragment at the time of cataract surgery, pretty normal, happens to every surgeon, including me and including you. So you gotta be careful. Sometimes it's just dang near impossible to see those retained lens fragments. And we got to be very cautious there at the end and really look for them and do this sweep around the eye and squirt them out. And even then, it's not that big of a deal if you have a retained lens fragment. And we've talked about management before. You can either zap it with a laser, wait time, or go back and take it out.